Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcoming you to the fifth episode of Challenge Sundays. And this time, as you can see, we're venturing into the world of 2D Mario, and we're going to do Super Mario World. So I'm just going to start up a new game here. Okay, um, this challenge is going to be how fast you can complete the second level of the game, Yoshi Island 2. Alright, now before we get started on this, the rules really quickly are that Number one is that you cannot have the yellow switch palace activated because that cause that makes certain platforms appear in the level and that those c might help you out or something, I don't know. It might give you an unfair advantage. And secondly, the other rule is that you have to be small Mario throughout the entire thing. So you can't you can't be big Mario, you can't have a cape or Yoshi or anything. You just have to be little Mario the whole time. Other than that, I think we're ready to get going here. Alright, here we go. Okay. We're just gonna keep on running here, keep running, keep running. It's really the only thing I can do. Oh god, that was bad. <laughs> oh no! Okay, well, I guess after you hit that checkpoint, then you can be Big Mario, but... Oh, it doesn't... whatever. Yeah. I guess you can just be big or small Mario, because they both pretty much run the same anyways. Alright, I got that in 40 seconds, it looks like. Honestly, I think that's the fastest it's possible to do it in. So, we might have a bit of an interesting challenge here. Um, yeah, because I'm, I think I've, like, I've done this a lot of times before, like, just in the past, just to see how fast I could do it, and I always just could not beat that time, but if any of you can beat that time, then props to you. And, um, if it's, if it turns out that it is impossible to beat, then we're gonna have a little bit of a tiebreaker. And, and, um, actually, yeah. Okay, we're gonna have a tiebreaker. I'm just gonna think about what that tiebreaker is actually gonna be, though. Just a moment. Okay, guys, I thought of a pretty fair challenge, I think, um, or tiebreaker. As you can see, I'm in the yellow switch palace right now. It's paused, but I'm here. Um, yeah, so, the tiebreaker is going to be how many coins you can collect in the yellow switch palace in time. Um, don't count the coins that you already have. Like, see, I have six right now, so I can't count those, because I didn't get them in this place. So, only the ones that you get in the switch palace will count. And, mind you, you only do this if you if in, in your video that you'll submit, you'll only do this if you got three, if you did it in 40 seconds. And, yeah, if you did it in 40 seconds, so which would make it a tie. If you can do it in 39 seconds or faster, then you pretty much have it in the bag. And if you do it in more than 40 seconds, like say if you do it in like 41 seconds, then you don't have to do this because you're not eligible for the tie. Alright? So... Yeah, this might just turn out to be the challenge in itself, I don't know. Oh well. Okay. Yeah, so just see how many you can collect. And every time you hear the one-up sound, you know you've collected another hundred, so... Alright, so... Um, I heard the one-up sound three times, which means I collected 302... Or so no, wait, no. Wait, th yeah, I I have got th I have 302 coins, and minus six that makes 100. Wait, 200, 296 is what I'm gonna say. All right, so um, yeah, this is a bit of a confusing challenge Sunday, it's, but at least most of you should have the game, and if not, you can easily get a ROM of it. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys can enter and understand what to do in the challenge. It, I kind it, it was kind of hard to explain how to like the tie and stuff, but I got it. All right, so thank you everyone for watching and until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night. Congratulations to Mr. Great Daniel who won last week's challenge Sunday with a time of 24 seconds to 82 milliseconds.